Good morning. Uh, we are 11 days out. Um, I had my check-in this morning with the coach. Um, I'm sitting currently at 151 pounds and just leaning out. Uh, I'm going to put up the pictures from that check-in and you guys can see that. Um, the differences between last week and this week are pretty staggering. Um, just dropping water and losing fat, I guess, and just uh, leaning out all together. Um, so we're 11 days out. Uh, this is officially depletion week, and I've been doing supersets, push and pull supersets uh, since Monday, so I'll do that again today. Uh, just the energy level is super low, and that's just due to the sheer fact that there's not a lot of calories going in and a lot of calories still being um, expelled. So <clears throat> just pretty, pretty steep depletion, which is fine because it's almost over. Um, I wanted to show you guys uh, what my after workout meal looks like. Um, here it is, I take it with me to the gym because I do my cardio directly after my workout. So, uh, this is just 120 grams of just straight baked chicken with salt and pepper. And then I've got some really awesome um, neighbors. They're Mennonites, actually. And they grow their, all their own vegetables and everything and their own meats and everything like that. And so, my dad brings me these amazing greens every once in a while. And he brought me a whole bunch of them this week, and I'm just so thankful. They're so delicious. I mean, this right here tastes like butter. And what I do is I just wrap my chicken up in it with uh, some some of these Vlasic pickles. They are the stackers. The stackers are also zero calories. Anyway, so I wrap up my chicken uh, with the, the greens and then <clears throat> some pickles and I am good to go right after workout and that works really well for me um, this week I've been moving my cardio to uh, directly after weight training instead of uh, fasted cardio I just I wake up in the morning I just can't I mean I just I have nothing like I have nothing right now and I've already eaten breakfast but I really have nothing nothing when I wake up and so for me to just get up get going this morning I had my check-ins and stuff so I had to change and pose and do all that and so it I mean right now I'm just worn out and uh, so uh, again just not griping about it but I am saying this is serious fatigue I've never and I'm the mother of a child that <clears throat> used to not sleep as a baby and this is bordering on several weeks of just very little sleep I mean that's what it kind of feels like you just feel like oh like God, I can't do this I like, you know and if it weren't for my friends and now my mom has jumped on board and like she's pushing me too and so that's a really big help but if it weren't for those guys and just the sheer fact that I've been doing this for so long and I refuse to quit here at the end I mean I, I can't I my brain will not go there uh, then this is a hard deal this is not something you want to jump into uh, just to lose some weight it's just not this is not the way to do it is not fun at all um, the weight has come off very quickly here at the end. And, uh, I mean, way, way more quickly than the past couple of years, I've not seen this much weight loss. And all of a sudden, it's like, we're just gone. Like, I know that as soon as I start eating, you know, my calories again, it'll gradually creep back on. But, we're planning on doing a uh, reverse diet after the show. So the night of the show, I'll have the meal, <laughs> the meal, I can't wait, um, the meal. And then the next morning I get whatever breakfast I want, which 
I have already planned. I mean, it's going to be an omelet, and then, but first it's going to be pancakes. So we're going to do pancakes first, and then if I'm still hungry, I either get more pancakes or I'll, you know, I'll eat my omelet. Um, so, but after that, I mean, we're back on a, uh, a plan. So after I get home uh, Sunday, I probably will sleep. I probably will sleep and then Monday we'll be back on a plan so that's how that's gonna be and I'm looking forward actually to seeing the building that's going to take place this next season I'm really excited um, now I know kind of what to expect as far as prep goes and the what is normal for me and what all helps me uh, like push through it I've learned some more tricks and, and stuff as far as the food goes and that's really helped uh, and I'll take that into prep early on with me this next prep um, which will be helpful I mean I'll drop that up that faster because I know the tricks some of the tricks and now you guys do too because I shared them with you but uh Anyway, so we're just, you know, I mean, it's, it's lean, I'm getting, there's no fat in my face at all, and then, I mean, uh, you know, this is skin, of course, but good grief. I mean, as compared to what it was, this is nuts. This bicep is gimp. It's not nearly as cool as that one. Anyway, but uh, the abs are coming in, even the second row of abs, which I've never seen before, is coming in. And by next week, I'll I will be take I'll, well I'm going to start taking a, a diuretic at the beginning of next week. And that will drop me as far as water goes. I mean, there's no telling. I don't know what all of that's just going to be weird. Like, that's going to be crazy. So, you guys stay tuned. Uh, we're about to leave. I got to take my son to vacation Bible school this morning. He's so excited. <laughs> I don't care. Uh, and then I have to go to the gym and get, uh, I'm going to do buys and shoulders today so that's push and pull and um then i'll get my cardio and then that'll be it for the day well i mean until tonight's cardio last night i just walked most of the time got all the way to my turnaround which is a mile and a half down the road got all the way to the turnaround and uh walking fast um but still was not jogging and i decided that i was going to start jogging and so about a mile in coming back i was like i just i can't i cannot physically do this anymore and so i can tell a marked difference from last week to this week because last week i mean it was hard but it was not like i, I can't I mean, this has been a long time of two hours cardio a day, and my body is just done. Like, my legs hurt. I've, I've already complained about this, but you guys that have been through it, you guys know. And if you haven't been through it yet, know that it's coming. Make sure that you have a coach that tells you exactly what to do and that you do exactly what he or she says. Exactly what they say. Exactly and you will reap the benefits you will see the differences i've got a good one so uh if you want to know who it is let me know down below and i will shoot you his name he's amazing and he does most of my stuff over uh, text messages and emails and he knows me we've been together uh he well <laughs> i guess <laughs> he's been my coach for uh, two years, going on two years, and he's just amazing. 
and I really do just owe him so much of this. So I wouldn't have done it, didn't know, wouldn't have known how to do it. This is not one of those things you just go into by yourself and just figure it out. I mean, it's just, I wouldn't have known how to do it. Not to this extent, anyway. There's so much, like, stuff that I don't know that he does know um, that I'm thankful that he's there anyway so uh, mom if you're watching this too I just wanted to tell you thank you because I know that this has been pretty difficult for you guys and uh, I know how selfish that it seems and <clears throat> for me to spend so much time doing what I'm doing it looks really bad. It looks like I'm just being really selfish and um, I just want to, and, and I know that you have not really been on board with this stage in my life in the past few days. I mean, I just want to thank you because it really means a lot to me that I have your support and that you're proud of me. And so, Thank you, and um, I love you, and I want to make y'all proud, and I want to make me proud. So, anyway, there's that. Here's the tears. Uh, so, I'm going to go to the gym now and do my thing, and I uh, just want to come home and go to sleep, but I've got so much stuff to do. Get to work on some wedding cakes for people that are getting married it's okay i was married once it wasn't that great so that is it you guys have a great day and i'll talk to you later